We're talking with Wayne Sanoa, the Director of Operations and uh, Chief of Flight Instructor here at Auburn University. Wayne, what has your experience been with these aircraft, both now and prior to having the air conditioning installed? Well, Walter, uh, before, before Kelly Aerospace Air Conditioning Airplanes, they were like any other typical uh, uh, general aviation trainer. Uh, no air conditioning, uh, ventilation through the normal uh, inputs, uh, you know, through the cabin and so forth, but ambient temperature. And uh, now with, uh, with the introduction of the uh, system that we have now, uh, tremendous difference. Uh, opportunity to cool yourself down, keep it that way while you're conducting flight training at all altitudes and uh, makes for a much more pleasurable training experience. You find that you can, uh, you can even pre-cool these airplanes so take off and landing. Uh, from the time we start the uh, engine uh, to the time we shut it down, the uh, air conditioning system, if it's needed, can be operated since it's electrically driven and not the, the old-fashioned, if you will, belt-driven uh, uh, compressor style. Uh, Cross-country is a certainly uh, where there is a, certainly a duration involved. Uh, even local flights, uh, lower altitudes, you know, the flight training involves low-altitude operations as well as high-altitude operations. And so it keeps the comfort level in that uh, airplane uh, to a much greater degree than, again, ambient temperatures, uh, especially in Alabama in the summer. You have uh, some very, very new pilots here, obviously, just getting started. Do you find the system is uh, easy enough to operate? Oh, absolutely. It's uh, basically one push to turn it on, uh, adjustment for temperature, and, uh, and that's basically it, and shut it off, obviously, when you're done at the end of the flight. A little bit of background here. Uh, I first came upon Kelly Aerospace at Sun and Fun. I'm trying to think of the year, but it was about probably five years about, ago. was about five years ago. <laughs> that made my right about 2013, 14, somewhere in that range there, and uh, was able to um, see the demonstrator that they had. I think they were using a Cessna 182, That's and it was amazing uh, the difference between standing outside in Florida at Sun and Fun, and, and then jumping in the uh, cabin and closing the door, and it was. It was refreshing, to say the least, on a, on a kind of a hot day in April in Florida. And bringing it to pilot training is something I've always believed should have always been the case. And I think this was the right product and the right time for us. And so as we started, Auburn University started purchasing equipment. We made a commitment to say we're going to install this equipment in our airplanes. Uh, Auburn University is a, a land-grant institution, and uh, research is our kind of our main kind of emphasis. And uh, with that, uh, and with Kelly Aerospace, understanding that it's an Alabama company, kind of a, a homegrown company here, that uh, it was certainly something we believe we needed to invest in, is to look here within the state of Alabama for opportunities such as this with the air conditioning systems for our airplanes. We have future orders uh, coming in. We'll be looking forward to installation of the equipment uh, at that time. I do. I find that all the button layouts are work really well for the airplane, especially in like phases, all phases of flight, um, with just a simple instrument panel to kind of control the temperature settings and the fan speed. It's it's easy to manage, I would say. I know that you have to keep it at a thousand RPM on the ground if you're using the AC, but it doesn't really affect climb performance or anything like that. I find that it, it flies basically the same. There's no impact on performance or, or anything like that. The air conditioner kind of works the same, obviously just the button layout, the seminal is kind of closer to your left knee, where in the Skyhawk it's, I believe it's more towards the right side. It certainly has. I, I find myself as an instructor here uh, much less fatigued at the end of the day, especially after I get an aircraft with the uh, air conditioning unit installed most of my flights for the day. Um, it really helps with the heat, especially this time of time of year, it's pretty bad out there, so it's nice to have the air conditioning and definitely makes me feel a lot better at the end of the day. It definitely does help with fatigue, even local flights um, when you're sweating and um, working hard in the cockpit, you want to come back a lot sooner without that air conditioning. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I think where the uh, advantage really comes in is for local flights with where you're doing a lot of maneuvers and stuff, because that to me is pretty taxing when it's really hot in the airplane. 
So having that air conditioning system to cool us down while we're doing that, that kind of stuff really helps with uh, fatigue and then just comfort as well. And I think it is safer. And you prefer which way? Definitely with the air conditioning. <laughs> Um, when there was no air conditioning, um, it was a very hot airplane. Definitely having the air conditioning is, uh, is a good thing. 